Hey everyone, how are you doing? I uh, This weather has been gorgeous in New York the last few days, so I, I'm getting that spring garage sale itch. I gotta get out there, I wanna go buy treasure. Uh, but for now, you know, people aren't selling yet, so I decided just to take a trip to Red Ridgewood and try to find some cool stuff. So I'm gonna tell you about my trip, my treasure hunting. First place I went to, went to Dollar Tree, went to Myrtle Ave. And uh, just bought all kinds of stuff for a buck. I bought this cool little skateboard set. I really like the small little screwdriver. That was pretty cool for a dollar. Bought another one. I love little accessories like that. I'm always looking for those. Bought some um, leprechaun hats. Thought those would fit pull-up dolls, so I grabbed those. I grabbed uh, this little tape dispenser. I figure they're about the right size for 18-inch dolls. I thought those are cool. And then I got this turtle dispensers. Also thought those were cool. The thing I got there, I got a Minions Pez. That's for my son. So that was Dollar Tree. I always pick up things that. Oh wait, I got one more thing. I found these little beads that I thought looked like little letter blocks. I thought those were cool. That's it. Yeah, that's Dollar Tree. I always try to pick up little tiny things I can use ex as accessories for dolls and whatnot. Okay, and then the next store I went to was, uh, well, alright, the reason why I went to, to Ridgewood was it's the only location for FYE in uh, the New York City area. So I went there, I'm, I was Funko Pop hunting. But I figured while there, I'll hit all the variety stores. There's like 20 or 30 down the street. Each one has old toys, new toys, junk toys, cool toys. So, you know, you walk down the street, you look at every store, you see what you can find. The next store I bought something was uh, this Princess Peach. I thought she was really cool. Eight bucks. Don't know if that's a good price for her. Actually, I keep a lot of my toys mint in box, but this one I'll open. Just because the packaging is terrible. Little bit of a paint and smudge there. Check her out. She's cool. I always collect Princess Peach stuff anytime I find it relatively cheap. And then the next store, too, let's see. I got a couple bags of things. Okay, I just I walked into one ninety nine cent store and they had these little mini clothes line pins. Real teeny. I figured these would fit like an 18 inch doll. I thought those were really cool. I bought three bags of them. Why not? You need a giant clothes line. Okay, and then the next store I went to, uh, this, this little variety store had a lot of action figures. Not too bad of a price. They had a, a Cyborg Team Titan Go figure, and I was, I don't see it anywhere. So I was like, I should buy this. And I was like, I don't want to spend money. And then I didn't get it. Now I'm kicking myself. I might go back tomorrow to get it. But what they did have, they had this cool Thor's double set with the female Thor and the old Thor. See if we can zoom in here. I have actually never seen this set before, so I figured I'd pick it up. Twenty dollars is not too bad. It looks like it's going for about thirty on eBay right now, so that was a must-have, at least for me. I always collect female superheroes, so I had to pick that up. And then I got this Batwoman. They had for $6.99, also a good price. It looks like she goes for about $10 plus shipping on Amazon, so maybe $12 to $14. Bucks. 
thought she was a pretty good price. And then the last thing I bought from that store was uh, a 13 Wishes uh, Abby Abominable doll. I wasn't sure if I ever got this one a couple years ago when she came out. Couldn't remember. If she was $17.99. I figured I'd grab her just in case. If I do have it, or I can always sell it. It's not the end of the world. I figured the price was good enough. So that was that store. And then I finally got the FYE. And I picked up... Well, first I picked out a whole bunch of stuff. They were having a buy two, get one, 75% off sale. But I was only grabbing exclusives. And they said the sale was for regular ones. So I got $11.99 each. I did not want to buy uh, regular ones. So I just I grabbed three FYE exclusives. I got the Deadpool. Here he is. The blue Deadpool is pretty cool. And I got a, a older minion. I didn't have him yet. Last but not least, I got Doctor Who. So I was happy with that. I, they also have a GameStop across the street, but GameStop didn't have anything in it. It had like two Funko Pop figures. And then after that, the last thing I did was I went to a thrift shop down the street. And at the thrift shop, I just picked up a bunch of old games, mostly GameCube games. They were a little bit pricey, $4 each, but GameCube, you just can't find it anymore. I got flushed away. Tarzan Untamed. Prince of Persia Sands of Time. Prince of Persia The Two Thrones. Uh, Batman Begins. I think that was the best one. That's one where four dollars is actually a good price. Thirteen. Uh, this one he gave to me for two bucks. WrestleMania eight. And then this one I picked up for three dollars. They had a bunch of PlayStation Two games. I don't like paying more than a dollar two unless it's rare. But I like Wallace and Gromit, so I figure I'd pick that up. I gotta clean up all of the cases though, and most of them were kind of scratched, but thankfully I have a really nice scratch repair machine. So I'll repair all those up. So that was my toy hunting haul. I had so much fun today. I hope I can do a lot more of these this coming summer. I, every time it's a nice day out on the weekend, I like to get out and start looking to see what I can find. Alright, have a nice day. Bye bye.